Some of you may have noticed in the uh, notices in the papers and uh, other places or word of mouth that uh, I was going to be playing a tuba from the museum today, and I'm very privileged and pleased to be able to do this. Um, this picture, if the wind doesn't take it on me, shows the old Cayuga Brass Band. The upper picture dates from the 1880s probably, and the lower picture about 1900. And uh, it's very hard to see uh, that, that far away, but at the bottom picture, the one from about 1900, the tuba in that picture is the same tuba that I have here uh, beside me. Uh, Karen Richardson, the curator of the museum, is very graciously letting me play it. And, uh, and Graham says that's one of the original vests that they wore. <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, but, uh, we lost the coat. It's, uh, it still plays uh, surprisingly well. It, it looks the worst for wear, but it still plays okay. At least uh, there's some remains of a mouse in there, I think, and it's, the valves are sticky a bit. <laughs> and uh, I hope it. Uh, I hope they don't make themselves uh, make their presence known while I'm playing. But I'm going to play a piece to feature that horn uh, next. It's a solo. It's an old classic tuba solo called Solo Pomposo, and it was written in 1911 by the same Henry Fillmore that wrote Lass's trombone. So wish me luck. If the valves don't stick, I'll make it through to the end of this piece. And uh, hope you enjoy Solo Pomposo on the 120-year-old Cayuga Holloman County Museum tuba. Thank <laughs> you. 